Hi friends! Our book today is called A House for Hermit Crab and it is also by Eric Carl. I've had a hermit crab for a pet before. Time to move the hermit crab one, said one day in January. I have grown too big for my this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell but now he was too snug. Hermit crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean but it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish came along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new home soon. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right, <clears throat> but it looked so plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemone. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Will one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It is so plain. It needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. And gently Hermit Crab picked it up with its claw and put it on his shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along on the seafloor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. And carefully Hermit Crab picked it up with its claw and put it on his house. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They are very hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I would, creak the crusty coral. Gingerly, Hermit Crab picked it up with its claw and placed it on its shell. In June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat pile behind them. How tidy and hard working you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with its claw and placed it on his shell. The shell is definitely changing. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. And carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with its claw and placed it near its shell. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like nighttime, said the sea urchin. In September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied the lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered Hermit Crab. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. Now, they have been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like a family. How can I leave them? In September, a smaller Hermit Crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know a place for me? I have outgrown my house, too, answered Hermit Crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. 
In January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in the little shell forever, said Hermit Crab, and he waved goodbye. The ocean floor seemed wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid, and he soon spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but sponges, he thought. Barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. And that is our story on a house for a hermit crab. Hermit crab grew and grew and grew. And you guys have been too. Next time I see you, I'm probably hardly going to recognize you. You've grown so much. Has anybody else said that to you? That you've grown so much that you don't even seem like the same kid anymore because you've grown. But you haven't just grown in your size. You've grown in your heart and you've grown in your knowledge and you've grown in your love for Jesus. So keep growing. Have a good day.